The European Championships is set to start on Friday in Poland and the Ukraine and we are trying to look a little bit forward. With me is journalist Chris Ponakato Daniel and India footballer Goodwin Franco. Goodwin, first question to you. Um, your expectations from the Euros? Well, uh, it's going to be a good tournament uh, in Poland and Ukraine, new countries. Uh, so, it's going to be a fascinating tournament, T top world teams competing. So, I'm looking forward to that. Chris, the same question. Uh, looking forward to Euros 2012? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, Poland and Ukraine will be the new host for the European Championship. Uh, it, it's, it's really a tough tournament because, you know, you have Spain, you have Germany, a lot of expect expectation for both, both teams. And, well, I think uh, Germany and Spain are the top favourites to win the tournament. I think both of them will be playing good football in the Ukraine and Poland. But I think, you know, there will be some surprises coming up in Poland and Ukraine. Any specific players you're looking forward to see in that tournament? Well, uh, Mario Gomez has really done well for Bayern Munich, so I'm looking forward to see Mario Gomez. And Xavi Iniesta from Spain, always been fa fantastic players to watch, so yeah, looking forward to these players. Any players as such you want to look forward to or you think could be the stars of the tournament? Um, I think it could be the tournament of Boston Schweinsteiger because, you know, he's at the moment he lost the UEFA Champions League final against, with Bayern Munich against Chelsea FC. Uh, I think Ch uh, Schweinsteiger is at the moment at such a level here to deliver at the, to the great tournament. I think it's time for him to deliver and to be one of the big players in European football. And if we're talking about young talent, young players, who could be the young and upcoming players to see at this tournament? Who do you want to see at this tournament? Uh, I think, looking from a German perspective, you know, Mario Götze could be a young talent who could be playing a good tournament if he co uh, is coming in for the German team. Uh, I think, you know, the English team is built up with a lot of youngsters because due to the injuries they are having at the moment, I think one of the English players could be also there on the list. Any young players you think could be the star or the young star of the tournament? Yeah, as you said, you know, the English, uh, English team has uh, more of the young players this time, so I'm looking forward to one of these young English players to really come up and outshine in this tournament. Sounds, sounds very, very interesting, gentlemen. But of course, there's also an Indian angle to the whole tournament. Luciano Narsing with the Netherlands, player of Indian origin. Good to see Indian representation in the tournament, isn't it? Yes, of course. You know, uh, Luciano will be the second player to represent the Dutch team in a uh, major competition after our winter play for them. I think uh, Lucien is one of the younger pl young players and I think he's playing on the right wing with, um, behind Aaron Robin, so Robin will be the first choice player, but I think if Luciana comes in, he will be a good player for the Netherlands. Is that something to look forward to as an Indian footballer, that someone of Indian origin is going to be at that tournament? Obviously, always, you know. Uh, after Vikas Dorasu, now we have uh, Luciano, so uh, really looking forward to the guy and I hope he really does well and you know, at the end of the day, all uh, Indians back home will be proud because they have uh, someone of themselves who's out there, uh, you know, representing another country, but Indian nationality, so it's always great. Anything special you want to add about the tournament? I think the expectations are high because, you know, um, and I think, you know, looking at the political aspects in the Ukraine and Poland, you know, there's some special background to the tournament, you know. Everyone is looking forward on the pitch, delivering on the pitch, you know, is one thing. But, you know, if you're looking at the political side of things, it will be a tough tournament because Ukraine and Poland will be under the, uh, you know, special focus of the world because they need to deliver a good tournament. Otherwise, it will be a disaster for them. Anything from your side you want to add? Anything special and especially you'll be watching the tournament here in Germany, isn't yeah, it? Your exactly. first tournament you'll be watching abroad, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to watch it at the Cologne Arena, Portugal versus Germany. So we are, you know, all gearing up to watch that match. And um, uh, that's like, that is, that, that is like a potential final, you know. So uh, a huge match that is. And uh, look, as the tournament is concerned, Bayern Munich has really done well this season. So, you know, what I'm looking forward is that how the Bayern players get together in the German team and deliver for, for Germany. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Chris, um, where can people find you? Your blog under and your Twitter account? Yes, my blog is www.chrispd.de. I'll be reporting for the, um, from the European Championship and I will be also writing for Malayalam newspaper from other for me. So, be an interesting tournament for us. Well, and of course, you can follow me on my blog, aronfoot.blogspot.com, and my Twitter handle is aronfoot. So do follow us on football, and the European Championships are just a few days away, and we look forward to an interesting tournament coming up in Poland and the Ukraine.